Hello and welcome to the Dynamic CCTV technical video. Today we're going to take a look at the flow control solution for a single people counting camera and also the iSeries MVR. Both facilities have been brought in recently with a customised firmware. If you're not familiar with what flow control is, it's a density control solution which monitors and alerts on the amount of people that are allowed into a particular establishment. So it will, when the threshold or a limit that you set is reached, it will actually go into a threshold alarm mode and it will alert the people waiting to come in that the, the limit has been reached. So you get that through a visible GUI and also through third party linkage you might have set up, which also adds additional alerts to the actual fact that the threshold's been met, such as a, a pre-recorded message or a traffic light scenario. So you might have seen our Hicks Central video previously on this, which is designed for very large installations. Obviously the single camera firmware is designed for a single door, acting as an entrance and an exit. The iSeries MVR firmware is designed for slightly larger premises it can handle as many doors as it has physical camera inputs so work out how many doors you want and then select your MVR based on that we'll take a look at the the MVR later on in this video but first we're going to look at the camera very easy to configure you can see on the screen there we've got a firmware of 5.5.90 with a build of 200430 this is the customized version that you need at this moment in time and we're using a DS2 CD 6825G0 today as our as our people counting camera so in order to set this up, we just need to go across to VCA at the top and into our rule settings. You can see I've already set up a people counting rule and we've got our VCA information on screen there with our accounting direction. So that way is the entrance, coming back to the exit. And in order to turn this into a flow control display, we just need to enable the privacy tick box at the top and click save. And what we'll get is a black background now with our counting statistics visible. The single camera customised firm, it can count up to... 100 people, uh, 100 people person limit through its flow, flow control counting. So bear that in mind because if you large establishments where you can allow more people and you'll need to look at moving to the NVR as the solution. So we've got our limitation there. I've got it set to one today. It's a very simple uh, demonstration that I'm going to do, but obviously you'll get the idea when you see it. The front GUI of the camera is a little bit less pretty than what you'll see from the MVR later, but it does serve a visual purpose as such. The green text is for enter. When the threshold's met, the text will turn red, which obviously means stop as such. So you've got a visual color code change, which would help anybody waiting to get in. You've also got a message at the bottom there, which you can customize by going into the configuration menu and under image we can change our message here we've got our text overlay there please enter store please wait or please do not enter or whatever you, you may need that to be can be set there so if we go back to VCA and one thing is worth mentioning is the actual really output on the people count camera and also on the ICU's MVR will latch close when a threshold is met and that is very sort of useful if you're using third party triggering or third party relays to control triggered devices because the latching will only relax when the threshold drops so using a traffic light or a horn speak you can use the latching very easily to control a relay which would then in turn control the red green traffic lights switching etc I've got an actual NetGenium horn speaker connected today. I'm using two alarm inputs, one for when the threshold's reached and one for when the threshold relaxes. I know that the camera only has one alarm output, but you can still achieve this by changing the alarm input state. So my threshold reached message is on a normally open going closed contacts setting and my threshold is on a normally closed going open so that the single alarm output will cater for both messages as and when the actual threshold is met and then relaxed. So I'm going to demonstrate this now, just bring it back to live view. So you can see our display there. Another good thing about the, the camera firmware is this will actually display a lot of different means of displaying it, i.e. web front end, VMSs, Hick Central, decoders as such. You'll see this flow control GUI appear as it's showing now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through the door, set the threshold. You should hear a, a threshold is met message and I'm then going to walk back. That will relax the threshold and you should hear a second message that is telling people they can now enter the store. Attention, the store is now full. Please wait for green light to show before entering the building. Thank you. You may now enter the store. Thank you for your patience. So there we had a basic demonstration there of the capacity being met and then relaxed. When the capacity was met, the screen went red. My NetGenium speaker played a capacity is full message. That can be uploaded to your liking. It doesn't have to be exactly how you heard it there. That was just an example. 
and also when the threshold was relaxed a second message was audible which would alert anybody that they can now enter the premises the store as such so that's the camera or demonstration of the camera remember it is for a maximum of 100 people so that is something important to remember we're now going to move on and have a look at the nvr firmware Okay, I'm now at my ICU's MVR, so we can take a look at the flow control integration for the MVR now. I'm using a, a customized firmware version, 4.22.005, with a build of 200518. Like I said, this is a customized version, so if you're going to use a flow control, let us know. We'll make sure this is pre-installed on your machine prior to sending it out, or we can get this over to you remotely if it's for a machine you've already got in situ already to be installed. So what I'm going to do first of all is go into the, the camera menu. This is where we can set up all of our statistics under the camera group option here. Very simple, really single screen setup. It is important that you have set the real time data upload or uh, enabled it on all of your people count cameras prior to getting to this point in the MVR because the MVR does need to receive the real time count and statistics in order for it to do its job. So what we've got on the screen from the top to bottom, we've got a reset count and schedule there. So if you want to zero your counts, you can do that at a set time every day. We've got a show group, which is the group that the live GUI shows on screen when we launch it from the, the main live view. The reason we've got that show group option is this particular unit can group off certain cameras to be counted separately to others. So if you had premises where you had entrances for the staff and maybe entrances for the public, then you can group them off and treat each counting group and counting statistics differently and separately. But you can only display one group at any one time on the screen. So You've got up to 16 groups there, possible to set up and also display in any of one of those 16. So we're gonna leave that on group one, just for today's demonstration. I'm just gonna call this quickly test. So we've got a people count limit, which we put in for our chosen group. It's a 16 channel I series, so it's giving me up to 16 channels. If you had a 32 channel unit, you would have 32 cameras there and so on. So I'm using channel 16 today, which is where my people count the camera is. For some reason, I ended up on uh, input 16, not input 1, but there you are. But there you are. So I've ticked D16 for group 1. I think you get the idea, yeah, you tick other cameras for the groups, etc. And you've also got independent linkage action for each group as well. So I'm going to select all of the warning so we can either record it, give a beep. You've also got your really outputs. They can be very important with this sort of solution. It enables you to trigger third-party devices such as traffic lights or horn speakers with pre-recorded messages. Even barriers and gates can close, etc. when the threshold is reached, which can be done through these outputs here. So obviously they can be ticked and selected if applicable. So across the bottom, we've got an option to hide statistics. We don't really want to do that because we want to be able to see the current status and know whether they can enter or not. We've also got a manual reset and edit captions, which allows us to edit the on-screen instructions. So if I go to the live view and launch the PDC. You can see we've got some messages there. We've got attention at the top. We've got please maintain at least two meters social distance, which is great for UK, and that's green for go. So that's the you may enter screen. We've also got peak inside zero, available capacity one. So if I go back to the camera menu, and go back into the group and edit captions, you can see we've got the top message attention, which we've seen. We've got the green for go message there. Red for stop is please wait till the light turn green. And we've got people inside the available capacity. So they can be altered and changed wherever you may want them to be. And obviously you've got the maximum characters there. So I'm going to change the green message and get rid of the current one, like so. And my message is going to be... Please end the store. Well, I'm going to select this too. It's a little bit different, but like you say, you can, you can change this to whatever you might require it to be. So if we okay that, and we can now go back to our live view. You can see there, when I launch it, we've got please enter store at the top, which is the new message. So the attention message at the top and also people inside the capacity can be altered to whatever you require them to be. So this is the, the visual aid, if you like the visual GUI for flow control, for density control. And you can see it looks a little bit nicer than the cameras, but they both serve a purpose. And if you obviously are using a single camera, there's nothing to stop you from using a small ICU's MBR and achieving this better GUI for your display, display purposes. So what I'm going to do now is walk through the entrance and it's going to trigger the threshold. The screen's going to turn red, it's going to let people not to enter. And then I'm going to come back through again and obviously relax the threshold, which should see it turn green again. Okay. 
So there you go, there's just a very basic demonstration of the flow control solution that used in conjunction of third party devices to really outputs can provide a solid uh, working system to help aid and obviously alert people that they cannot, cannot enter an establishment and obviously keep it to the rules of social distancing in the UK at the same time. So if you've got any additional questions on the single camera and also ICU's MVR density control solution, please do contact Dynamic CCTV's uh, technical support department. We're more than happy to answer your questions. Also your account manager for any other sort of technical sales questions as such. So thanks for watching the video. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got new videos coming all the time on latest technology on the market. So please do subscribe and we'll, we'll see you next time.